thanks for tuning in. Here's where you need to get this project going. You need a junction box. Uh, this is a four by one, one half, and a box cover. Uh, they did not have any at Home Depot when this project started, so I just have the box right now. You need wire connectors. Uh, make sure you get appropriate size, number 14 for this project. It costs about $5. You need a wire stripper cutter. Uh, you can get this at Harbor Freight for just $5 or get a more expensive one at Home Depot. You need a screwdriver. Hopefully you have one already. Electric tape. You will need clamp connector size 3.8 for this project. Now because I'm going to work on metallic wire, I'll need the clamps for metallic wires and also anti-bushing size 3.8 which is about $4. Now that you have what you need, first thing is to find out which wire you're going to work on for this project. This is important. You want to make sure there is some slack in the wire because if there isn't and you go and cut the wire, then you're, you're in trouble. Once you've identified the wire, this one in particular is, is a 14 gauge wire, then we can go into the electric panel to find out which circuit breaker it's connected to. The wire is a 14 gauge wire so it should be connected to a 15 amp circuit breaker. Turn off that circuit breaker. Then we need to verify that there is no power in the receptacle. I use a voltage tester here. If you don't have one you can simply plug something in to verify there is no power when the breaker is off. Please uh, this is really important so don't hurt yourself. Make sure you verify there's no power. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, place the box where you want it, not close to the ceiling and not close to the bottom of the wood. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna I'm going to mark in the middle of this wire. This is where I'm going to cut it. And right about here is where I'm going to remove. I'm going to remove up to this side the metal now for metallic shield or cables there is specific tool you can use to remove the metallic shield uh, check in the description below I don't have such tools so I did it my own way it does take a little longer uh, and you can also damage the wire if you're not careful um, but this is how I did it.
for now. You don't have a lot of room here, right? So you want you want to be really careful not to uh, break the wire, because if you break the wire, you're in trouble, right? Because this is gonna go in here. I got a little room from there. I'm gonna try to pull as much as I can. So it require these bushings. So you put it in the wire. So, so keep it from having the armor plate damaging it.
Alright, yeah. So this is how you get a junction box. And all you gotta do is connect black with your black, white with your white, and then you just connect the copper though. That's not copper, but ground, ground. And then you just twist them together, twist these together, and uh, tape it and put your cover on. And there you go. So this is the box. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring a wire that's gonna come right to it, right here, and then connect it. All right. Okay, so this this is it. This is inside the panel. You have your hot, got your neutral, got your ground. This wire. This is the wire that has the new outlet in it. So it comes from upstairs, comes in here. All right. And this this right here, this goes straight to the panel. Okay, and this is the other outlet in the other room. So bring it into this box, connect them all together. Power goes into the box, panel box. When you turn the brake on, everything comes here, and then poof, everything's work. Oh, I gotta connect my ground again, loosen up. Alright, so I'm gonna connect that, and uh, you gotta get a cover plate. Uh, when I went to Home Depot, they didn't have any more cover plate, they ran out. So I get a cover plate at a later later time. But well, yeah, you, once you get a cover plate, just put it over it, and uh, you should be done. So one thing I mentioned is that it is extremely difficult working with short wires. Whenever you're doing electrical work, make sure you have more than enough wires, and then just cut it when you're done, or shove it in the box, which is what most people do. Uh, they just shove it in the box and whatnot. In any case, you need to, like, for example, if I need to move this this box later on, I, I can't. Because this line that goes straight upstairs, I'm pretty sure it's, like, screwed into the 2x4 stud in the wall. So I can't really move this line. All right, so I would have to go and replace this line that goes straight to the panel. Which is, which is a pain, which is what I'm avoiding. Um, but, you know. So this, just a warning, when you're working with short wires, it could be a pain, you can end up cutting it too short. Yeah, so if you're gonna do this kind of project, just um, be aware that, um, yeah, working with short wires is a extreme pain.